Hey everyone, this is Alex from Breathing Cold and I'm stoked. I'm so excited for the guest that is coming up. I introduce you Ruben. Ruben has mind-blowing ideas. He's done numerous TED Talks that got over 10 million views talking about our favorite topic, the breath. And this time is the breath related to something weird that most of us have some kind of an interest to, which is weight loss. I'll let Ruben tell us more about it. Um, yeah, thanks, Alex. Um, it is amazing that most people don't realize uh, where the weight of everything they eat ends up after you've eaten it. And, um, and if you are losing weight, as in you've, you've gone on a diet or you've started some exercise regime and you do end up losing weight off the scales, where does that weight go? Um, uh, which is a question I myself had never thought about until I was 42 years old and, um, and just I lost some weight. And that's when it had occurred to me that I, I didn't know what happens uh, inside my body to the food that I eat or to the muscle mass that I've some may have lost or the fat mass that I may have lost. So um, it all is related to breathing because uh, food, and, and here's a really great clue before I tell your uh, listeners the answer. A really great clue about food is to think about what the word carbohydrates actually means. We all hear about carbohydrates, fats, and protein. Well, carbohydrate literally means carbon atoms, carbo, carbon atoms, which have been hydrated which means they have hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms stuck to them because when you hydrate something, you put H2O into it. So a, a carbohydrate literally got its name in the 1800s from chemists, scientists, who were looking for a name to give to these, this class of molecules which are made of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, which we eat. And uh, when you eat carbohydrates and then you burn them inside of your body, you have to suck in oxygen out of the atmosphere to help this process along. And then after you've burnt it, you breathe out the products, which, and the products are carbon dioxide and uh, water is the other waste product of burning your food. So uh, when you're breathing out, you are breathing out the food that you ate, which you've converted into a gas called carbon dioxide, which we, you know, is such an important gas in your body. So uh, people who are interested in breathing should definitely get excited about this biochemistry. How mind-blowing is that? Another example how the breath and understanding the magic of the breath can have ripple effect on every aspect of your life. So guys, I invite you for this incredible talk. It's gonna be in March. I think we decided 3rd of March, is that correct, Ruben? So 3rd of March. That's right, correct. Link is below, join us, you'll be live. So you'll be asking all the questions you want. Um, it's gonna be fascinating, intriguing, interesting. And what I love about the breath is the science is catching up. Things that have been known, and uh, James Nestor said it's a lost art of breathing, and the science is catching up. So let's hear it from Ruben in beginning of March. I'm stoked and excited for everyone. Thank you. See you there. See you then.